Hi everyone, welcome to registration and login tutorial series. In previous video, we have configured Spring security in our Spring Boot project. This is the sixth part and in this part, we are going to implement a backend for login feature. Alright, let's get started. So look at here in previous video, we have configured Spring security in our Spring Boot project. So basically, we have added Spring security starter dependency to our palm.xml and we have created a Spring configuration class and we have specified all the spring security configuration inside this class okay and look at here user service so this is the interface it, it extends user details service interface user details service interface provided by spring security and we need to implement this interface for example this interface has a method called load user by username okay we basically implement this method and we retrieve a user uh, details from the database and we fill up the details into user details object and that object will be again take care by spring security okay we no need to do further things we need to just load a user from the database and we need to fill up the user details object and then spring security will take care of the rest of the things okay great now let's go back to the user service interface and uh, again we need to provide one more method in a user repository let me quickly so here uh, basically we write a method uh, and uh, this method will retrieve a user object by email address okay so look at here find by email method so this method will basically retrieve a user from the database uh, by email okay so th so this is the method naming convention that we need to provide for spring data jp so spring data jp basically uh, create a database queries based on the method names okay so this is the method so this method will basically retrieve a user object by email address now let's go back to the user service IMPL class. This is the method that we have worried in, in previous video and we haven't provided implementation in a previous video. So in this video we are going to provide an implementation for load user by username method. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's write logic here. Okay. So let's first retrieve a user object from the database user user and then here user repository so inside a user repository just we have created a method right that is find by email and here we need to pass email address so username is nothing here and nothing but email address over here so from the login screen we pass an email address and password so here we need to retrieve a user object by email okay now what we'll do we'll just check whether if user equal to equal to null and then we simply throw user not found exception user not not found exception and let's give a user defined message over here that is invalid username is username or password something like this okay and here we just return a user object so notice here this is the important so this user object is basically belongs to spring security okay so this is the user object that we need to return all right so user details is the interface and user is the class which implements user details interface and user user object is basically belongs to spring security and here we need to just provide a, a data user dot get email and then provide user dot get password and here we need to pass the roles so let me create a separate method to retrieve our roles for timing i'm just pass null here okay and here what we'll do we'll create a method which will map uh, roles to the authorities let's say private 
and here we have collection and this should extends granted authority and let's call method name as map rules to authorities and here we simply pass collection of rules okay so what we are going to do here is we are going to simply convert role into authorities so spring security expecting uh, authorities right Mm, return null and here we simply map a role to the authorities so let's use stream api for example roles dot stream so we are going to leverage java features here and then map and we are going to simply iterate over stream of roles right so here role and here let's use lambda expression and this is a simple granted authority and here we simply pass the role name that is role.get name and finally we simply collect the result and here let's say collectors collectors dot to collection right collection is not there so just pass to list okay and let's remove null here we have just created an object so let's return this it's pretty simple right so what we have done we have you we have just converted roles into stream on top on top of stream we just map a role and uh, we converted a role into simple granted authority object which is the spring security provided class and we just pass a role name to the simple granted authority class and finally we collected a stream into a list okay finally we converted stream into list and just we return this list here okay and here we have passed null right previously now we have created a method so let's go ahead and let's uh, pass method instead of null over here so here what we'll do is simply get a rules from the user object that's it it's pretty simple right what we have done we have retrieved a user object uh, from the database using find by email method and we have just checked whether user is null or not if it is null that we, we simply throw the user not found exception and if user is not null then we just create a user object that is provided by spring security and we pass email and password and roles to the user object and here we have just map roles to the authorities so authority is basically a spring security term and we need to create a simple granted authority object so basically collection of simple granted authority objects okay we have used a stream api over here we converted roles into stream and stream provides a map method so here we simply map a role uh, to the simple granted authority and finally we collect the result as a list and we just return okay it's pretty simple implementation all right guys we have almost completed a login uh, you know uh, backend part I guess we need to con create one more uh, method handler so basically we create spring MUC controller so go to the web package and new and then create a class let's call uh, this class as a main uh, controller so this spring MUC controller will basically serve uh, time lip templates let's annotate this class with at the rate controller annotation and inside this class we are going to create a method called log public this returns string and login okay so let's return simply a login page and let's annotate this method with at the rate um, get mapping annotation 
and here we need to provide a URL like login okay so this method handler will uh, return a login page so whenever we access a URL a login URL from the browser localhost 8080 slash login then this method handler will get called and then this method handler will simply return a login timelip template so this is the login timelip template that we will create in the next video all right so what else remaining uh, so look at here uh, in previous videos here at a password we have stored a text as a password in a database right now we have configured spring security in previous video now it's time to store password as encrypted format in a database for that what we'll do we'll use a bycrypt password encoder so look at here in spring security configuration we have created a bycrypt password encoder bin right now we can inject this bin and we can use its methods right uh, let me show you how to do it so let's go ahead and let's quickly uh, auto wire private uh, this is bycrypt password encoder okay now let's use encode method of this this class here so look at here a encode method so password encoder that is bycrypt password 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 encoder object provides encode method we can use encode method to encode the password in encrypted format so look at here this algorithm SHA1 algorithm it uses internally all right and we simply pass a password to the encode method like this so this will basically generate an encoded format for password and then it will be stored in a database all right, all right guys this completes a back and forth for login feature in next video we are going to focus on front end part for login feature and then we'll have a demo all right thanks for watching i will see you in the next video